Hello again. This is the last video for beginners. I'm introducing a few more tools for drawing in the designer persona. Most of the work here will be vector based. If you haven't watched all the previous parts yet, go back and watch from part 1 to part 5. I believe that if you watch them all, you'll definitely be able to do it. Try experimenting with the program. It's not easy, but not too hard to learn either, and you might end up liking it. You might think the tools are similar to Illustrator, and some tools might not help speed up work as much as Illustrator, but for basic tasks, I think it works just as well. Some people ask me, why doesn't it have this or that? My answer is always, how often do you actually use those tools? That's the key. Each program has its pros and cons, but I believe if you create the same piece of work using different programs, the final results will be quite similar. Alright, for today, the first tool is the gradient tool. It's simple, you can click and drag to the position you want. You can choose the context as fill or stroke, depending on your preference. Try experimenting with it yourself. Click to select the colors at both ends, and you can add more colors by clicking on the line. To remove colors, press delete. In the context toolbar, you'll find options like type, rotate, and maintain fill except for ratio. For this character, I won't go into too much detail, as it's just a guide for you. Adding details like shadows or highlights requires a bit more study. There are just a few basic rules, and most of them follow the same principles. Some of my work doesn't strictly follow the theory either. But to create good work, you need a combination of techniques and other elements. You should use reference images as a guide and see how they influence your work. It will help speed up your workflow. And another tool I often use is the transparency tool, which works similarly to the gradient tool. You can add or remove points and adjust the opacity in the color panel. I use it when working with shadows or highlights. Shadows that are in light will be less intense, while highlights in light will be stronger. Highlights are the areas that are hit or reflect light more, usually just small spots. You should study shadows and light reflections on objects a bit more. I can't explain it in as much detail as a professional artist could, so using reference images will be helpful.
I believe the 5 part video series will be useful to you, at least to some extent. Try using Affinity Designer. Most of the work I've done in these 5 videos is in vector mode. We haven't talked much about Pixel Persona or the tools within it. But I think this mode is quite similar to Photoshop in terms of how the tools are used. There are still many interesting tools to learn in Affinity Designer, which I might have forgotten to explain in detail. I focus mainly on drawing, though other programs might make drawing easier and better. Consider it a bonus from Affinity Designer. I try to keep my videos updated to match the latest version of Affinity Designer, with techniques I know presented in my style. I hope you'll like it. Thanks for watching.